So today I'm making my first ever lifestyle favorites video. So it's the first video of 2021. I hope you had like a nice new year. Today I am making a lifestyle favorites video. I'd actually planned to do this at the end of last year, a 2020 lifestyle favorites, uh, but then I didn't do it and I figured these are things that I've loved and will continue to love in the new year as well. So I will still share them with you guys. And it's going to be like an extremely mixed bag because lifestyle is such a large umbrella. And there are just many different things that I enjoyed using and that helped me be like more comfortable and more distracted and more efficient and more happy. Quite a few of the things that I share in today's video are things that I've already shown or discussed at some point on my channel, but I'm sort of revisiting them and letting you know about my experience of using them like over a longer period of time. The first thing that I have is this Instax Square SQ1 camera from Fujifilm. When this released a few months ago, I did a whole video review on it, which is linked over there. This is one of Fujifilm's instant cameras. This is a fully analog camera. There is no digital component to it. These photos kind of look like old timey Polaroids. You need to load it up with film, click a photo, and then you see that image kind of develop in front of your eyes. And it's just really magical. It's been like 10 years since I bought my first Instax camera and I remember going crazy with that camera back in college. Over the years I didn't end up using it so much, I guess I kind of forgotten about it. I recently found the pictures from college and they brought back so many memories. In 2020, I have been using the square camera a lot. Last month, I got to meet my best friend after so many months. I hadn't seen him since the end of February. So February to December, both of us weren't really going out. So I just got to see him for a few minutes. We kept our masks on and we took this cute little picture, which I know I'm gonna treasure. So hopefully, in a few years, we can look back at these masked pictures and laugh about the year 2020, you know? The Instax Square range also has a lot of cool different types of film out. So this is the regular film, which is colored and has a white border. This is the rainbow film which is colored and then the whole pack you get these different colored borders and you can't really tell what color the border is going to be until you actually take the photo. I recently also purchased monochrome film which is black and white so I can't wait to take some really artsy looking photos you know and I also have an Instax tin now to keep my photos when I take them just keep them safe till I get home and I purchased an album so I'm making sure that these photos are going to last me a long time and I'm looking forward to making and documenting more memories in 2021 using this camera as well. My second favorite is a tech item and it's none other than my iPad Air which I bought recently. I did an iPad unboxing video also on my channel. It's just a short, no talking kind of aesthetic video that you can watch over there. But I haven't really talked about why I purchased this iPad or anything. This definitely was not an impulse purchase for me either. This is something that I researched and planned literally for months. I am a little bit of like an Apple fangirl, but just a little bit, you know. I also bought the Apple Pencil. I use this to keep track of videos. I can use it to browse social media like and use it to stream videos and it has surprisingly good speakers also and then along with the apple pencil there are just so many things that it can do i use it for digital art i am not a good artist but i just enjoy like a scribbling and fooling around for my youtube thumbnails like take for this video only also for my youtube titles i used to use a font there and now i handwrite and kind of animate those titles like i'm not sure if my handwritten titles are necessarily much better or anything like that because the fonts I used were nice as well but I am handwriting them because it makes the video more unique even if it's a little bit ugly it's mine so it gives the video more of like a personal touch or whatever this is the screen right now the iPad is locked uh, but since the iPads on night mode it has this beautiful landscape but it's nighttime and if I change this to day mode over here then you can kind of see the whole landscape in the daytime my dad had purchased the 
iPad 2, like the second generation of the original iPad. Before there was iPad, iPad mini, iPad pro, it was just like iPad and then later iPad 2 came out, you know. So he had bought that and I got to play around with it and back then I was not so impressed with it because it was just like a bigger version of a phone and it didn't really have that many interesting capabilities so I barely used it but now I'm really pleasantly surprised at just how capable this device is and just how much it can do so I am working on a what's in my iPad video if you have any questions on the iPad just about anything at all uh, please leave them in a the comment below and I will make sure that I address your questions in that video so my next favorite is actually this bra top from Calvin Klein that I bought earlier in the year and that I've been utterly obsessed with these Calvin Klein like sports bra style bras have been around for a really long time so if you like street style hip-hop and that sort of thing you will have seen uh, this type of bra around a lot and I was always really intrigued about them because they just kind of look like sports bras they look really simple but they also look really cool and I just always wondered about whether like they would be nice whether they would be comfortable so finally earlier in the year I purchased one of these and this is from their modern velvet collection I don't think this collection is still available so you won't uh, find the velvet ones anymore but you can usually find these in a lot of different colors and a lot of different fabrics and finishes I always wondered whether there would be padding inside the bra because I'm not a big fan of padding at all but I like a little bit of it just so that there's no like nipple show because if I'm wearing a bra I obviously don't want my nipples to show through and this actually has a nice like molded cup thing it's not too thick but it does uh, give you a little bit of like a nice shape and a little bit of padding and sports bras like proper ones they actually like really compress your breasts this one is not like that. It's actually really comfortable. And since I'm small chested, I could kind of use this as a sports bra, but it's not a proper sports bra. It's not going to give you that extreme support that a lot of people need if you're doing high impact exercises. But it's just very, very comfortable. And I can literally wear this at any time and just like always be comfortable. I have pretty much given up underwire in 2020 I never liked it before that also but nowadays I just prefer wearing no bra when I'm at home or if I need to be a little bit more like presentable or whatever I'll go for bras and bralettes that don't have any underwire amongst all of the bras that I own this is undoubtedly the most comfortable and it just it looks so cool also I wish this was socially acceptable to wear as a top outside or something <laughs> I think you could get away with it if you layer it with like a jacket or something but remember we are in India I am and I have to deal with the limitations of living here nonetheless this is a very cool piece and I recently did a little photo shoot and posted it on my Instagram this is just really like stylish and simple and chic and sporty but also like supportive whenever I need to purchase more bras in the future I'll definitely be looking at these kind of like Calvin Klein bras you know the next favorite I have for this video is this aroma diffuser uh, that I bought from Muji so you just need to add water add a few drops of essential oil and it needs to be plugged in of course and then it kind of diffuses that in this beautiful stream fills the room with the fragrance it's really lovely unlike candles it doesn't add any heat to your room it doesn't cause any like soot or smoke or anything like that so it's quite sustainable and eco-friendly in that sense because it gives you that scent of candle effect while also keeping the room cool and not adding to the pollution this one will turn out much more affordable than scented candles in the long run because essential oil bottles are not that expensive you just need a couple of drops each time you turn this on and you know you get an amazing smelling room you can use aromatherapy during the day when you want to get more productive there are oils for that but if you want to unwind and relax also there are oils for that as well that put you in the right mood and I really love the light on this as well if you want to switch off like the harsh lights in your room and just chill at night then this can give you that beautiful sort of glow and set a mood and another thing that this can do is in winter it gets pretty dry in Mumbai like otherwise it's humid but our humidity levels drop in winter and I have a lot of plants now almost all of the plants that I have are tropical and they love humidity so they don't do so well 
in winter i can turn this diffuser on uh, without putting any essential oil in it just point it to my plants and it will help uh, create a sort of slightly humid microclimate and i'm happy my plants are happy everybody's happy this was a really good purchase and i'm just looking forward to like continue using it for a long time the next thing i have is a household utility item i guess and it is these tide pods so this is actually nothing but laundry detergent for your washing machine so this works if you have a top loading or front loading washing machine these are newly released i think in india they are imported from japan so they are available in two sizes this is the 32 pod box the larger one but you can get the 18 pod one as well this is actually what one pod looks like so it's got three different liquids encased in here you just always need to hold these with dry hands and just place one in your washing machine per load unless you're doing like an excessively heavy or excessively dirty load then you could use two we always use one and it's more than enough for one load once this comes in contact with water it dissolves on its own like there are three liquids right so it says it's a three in one that it gives whiteness it gives stain removal and it gives brightness and you don't need to necessarily use this only for white clothes because we don't have that many white clothes at home or like just white things in general but we still use this and it absolutely works well even with like all colored clothes it smells really really nice it's subtle it's not strong but it's a very nice fresh smell Not only is actually using the Tide Pods such a cool and fun experience that it's made me take more of an interest <laughs> whenever we turn on the washing machine, but I think it's quite efficient because it eliminates the need to like buy so many different laundry products and put them in at the same time. You don't have to do like a separate fabric softener or like a separate stain removal thing or whatever. You know, this is just one thing. You take one of these, put it in your washing machine, and you're all done when these finish. which won't be that soon because we don't turn on the washing machine like very regularly maybe a couple of times a week but then i'll definitely be repurchasing more of them as well and my next lifestyle favorite that i have to share has got to be my menstrual cup in the past i have also done a separate video showing you the difference between what a menstrual cup is what a tampon is what a pad is i know that the menstrual cup conversation has entered the mainstream more recently i just want to say though i started using the cup back in 2019 i i really got comfortable with using it like for each and every period in 2020 it's what's best for my body because i have eczema so often pad skin kind of irritate my skin and then i also think it's what's best for the environment because every time i was using so many disposable products like tampons and pads a lot of them don't biodegrade that well because there's so much of plastic in each one of them yeah that really does add up and then thirdly i also think it is what's best for my wallet because disposable period products can be really expensive and i never realized how much i was spending on them until i stopped spending on them and then i was like wow this is a lot of money because menstrual cups are more affordable you can use one for like i don't know 2 years 5 years 10 years i've heard a lot of different figures so i've been using mine for maybe a year and a half now while it does have some like superficial stains on the silicon which by the way is completely normal it has been going strong so i actually thought of buying a new menstrual cup for the new year and then i realized there was absolutely no need for it because my old cup is still very very good when i see any like signs of wear or something i'll change it but right now it's just still working really really well so the reason i'm talking about menstrual cup again is because uh, for the longest time i had a huge mental block and i didn't really use the cup because i was uh, very scared of insertion and all of that but once i sort of practice sort of push myself sort of got used to it it changed my life so if you have been worried about using the cup like you want to try it but you're scared this is my encouragement that says go for it but i also understand that recently i've been seeing a lot of discourse on twitter and stuff like folks with periods discussing that people who use menstrual cups are sometimes too pushy and a lot of people are just not comfortable with that so i'm also not trying to shame anybody and every single person should do what's right for 
their body really without any guilt or anything like that i just know that switching to the cup made a big difference in my life after one and a half year on the cup i am happier every period because i'm on the cup so yeah if you have any questions about the cup really uh, feel free to slide into my dms on instagram and i'm happy to answer them nothing's too weird nothing's too gross or too personal or anything like i've kept it clean for the video but you know ask me anything and i will be happy uh, to give you guys any kind of advice that i can non medical advice of course yeah i'm happy to help you troubleshoot if you have been thinking of switching to the cup but you're nervous the final thing for my lifestyle favorites is actually not one specific thing but it's actually many many little things and it is uh my small little collection of tropical indoor plants really so i've always kind of wanted to have plants but i felt like they were incompatible with my lifestyle because someone who used to travel quite frequently pre pandemic used to be gone from the house like for a month at a time and all of that and i just thought oh i can't have plants but when the first lockdown started last year and then the second one it's like let me research a little more and let me buy some plants so my first plant was uh this zz plant which i have talked about now and then then i got another plant and then another plant i bought another one and then i asked my friend for a cutting of another plant and uh, now i have a small small little um tropical jungle over here by my window and my plants have been a really fun hobby for me because in the past i have uh, killed many plants despite what i thought were my best efforts uh this time i took a lot more care to learn what my plants need to like buy the requisite stuff and to really be attentive to their needs and seeing my plants grow and thrive has just been like the most wholesome feeling that it's kind of hard to put into words also i don't know it's been just like a very healing experience or whatever i'm not sure healing from what but i guess healing from 2020 but i am very very proud of all of my little plant babies and one more thing is that i pick plants that can survive without water for a week or even two or three weeks if it really comes to it in winter now sadly most of my plants have been sort of dormant which means i don't really need to water them and they also don't really grow which has made me a little sad but that is just how nature works and at the minute it starts warming up the minute the humidity levels start rising again uh, my plants are going to kick back into high gear and we will be seeing new leaves left right and center <laughs> and come spring summer 2021 i'm sure that you guys are going to see a little house plant collection or house plant tour video i also really enjoy uh, like picking out cute planters for my plants so I have a nice assortment of them. They are living things, but they are also like organic decor pieces. So those were all of my favorites for today's video, and I know it was absolutely all over the place, but these were just things that I enjoyed recently, and it was fun to collate them and talk about them in one video. If you've actually made it till the end, thank you, and I have a question for you. I haven't really decided if I'm going to be doing monthly favorites for the year 2021. So please let me know if that's something you think I should continue because I'm currently on the fence. Like on the one hand, I think it's really fun to sit and talk about everything at the end of each month. but on the other hand it can sometimes get a little bit repetitive also so i would really like your honest feedback don't hold back like really tell me what you think do you want to see the series continue for now or should we take a little break and maybe revisit it sometime in the future or like occasionally or whatever i'll leave a comment and let me know i'd also love to know of what your 2020 lifestyle favorites were what are things that you loved recently it can be just about anything there are absolutely no rules just things that brought you comfort and joy share them with us by leaving a comment below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye